Ladies and gentlemen, four score and seven beard ago, we started a journey to cover the greatest hypercar news that Automotive YouTube had ever seen. Today, we continue that journey with not one, not two, but a third Bugatti coming to join Stradman's already incredible Bugatti Veyron. Get ready, guys. It's a beautiful day. Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to Life Apollo. Some of the most trusted beard in automotive news. Happy to have you here. Had to channel my inner Abraham Lincoln there for a little bit. I'm just feeling so good about the incredible hypercar news that we're covering day in in and day out on this channel. It's a beautiful time to be part of Automotive YouTube, guys, uh, with a lot of people. There are years and years of hard work paying off uh, in major, major ways. People getting brand new hypercars, people reaching new supercar limits. We got monsters like Savage Garage and Manny Koshpin uh, bringing ever more crazy cars to their channels day in and day out. Saddle up, boys. Let's go. Oh, and don't forget, guys, every sub to the Life of Apollo's channel helps the Beard Army grow stronger, so tap that subscribe button right now. All right, guys, first headline story up today. Uh, I gotta kind of switch gears a little bit here. It's always so hard because I want to start every episode that we do with a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of happiness and then you know sometimes we have to cover things that are of a little bit more of, of a serious nature. Uh, first headline story today guys is actually TJ Hunt uh, and it's really the subject of his previous vlog uh, simply titled Slowing Down the Vlogs and he basically gets right into what he's talking about uh, in the first 30 seconds of the video which we're going to show you guys right now. I know that I missed some of the daily vlog uploads but this video Video, uh, is mainly here today to tell you guys that I'm gonna be stepping back from the vlogs a little bit Sabrina is going into her major surgery this week and this weekend I kind of spent the time with her and I just didn't upload and didn't edit anything at all My thoughts and mine is not really gonna be focused on the vlog Which I'm sure most of you guys can understand so as you guys heard uh, basically TJ is gonna be stepping back from doing vlogging as much uh, Basically to spend time with Sabrina as you guys know Sabrina's dealing with some pretty rough stuff health wise right now uh, Obviously our prayers are with both of them as she goes through through her first major surgery. Uh, and the reason why we're mentioning this is because if you guys didn't know about it, we wanted to let you know. Uh, but additionally, some of the comments that we saw in this particular video are just some of the, the best possible parts of the automotive community. People in the comment section below saying, dude, your priorities are right. We'll still be here whenever you're feeling it. Don't worry about it, Tej. You do you and spend time with Sabrina and take care of her. Take as long as you want. Anything that concerns health. I'm praying for Sabrina. She's got this. That's just some of the, the, the best possible parts of the automotive community, guys. It's so good to see the automotive community support creators when they're having rough times. Uh, and generally, over the lifespan of many, many years of doing videos, a lot of us sometimes hit pretty rough patches now and then. So here's what I would ask you guys to do if you have a couple of seconds in your day. When you're done watching today's video, go over to TJ's last video and just send them some kind words. You have no idea what it means to get sort of words of encouragement and support during tough times. So make sure to let them know that you're thinking about them and that we wish Sabrina a speedy recovery. All right, guys, changing gears here. Uh, we've been on sort of like a hyper and supercar kick lately, uh, more so than normal. Uh, we're going to be covering many Koshman's latest 4GT specking out video, uh, which is something that sort of Manny has been doing a lot more of over the course of the last couple months as he brings more and more incredible super and hypercars to his already insane fleet. And essentially what the video is, is him specking out his new 4GT Heritage Edition, uh, asking for input, not making all the decisions quite yet. Uh, it's a very special experience because for, you know, 99.999% of everybody watching this video, we're never actually going to be specking out our own hypercar, so to sort of share in the wealth a little bit and take part in the experience of actually doing it can be a pretty cool moment for everybody watching his video. Not to mention, it's just kind of amazing to watch somebody do it who really has the capability to buy so many incredible, you know, super and hyper cars. Manny Koshman, guys, uh, gives unprecedented access to the hypercar process. We've talked about it time and time again. Uh, you know, in the beginning, before Daily Driven Exotics and before Savage Garage and before, you know, before Stradman had their hypercars, uh, Manny was really one of the only people that gave this sort of access. Obviously, that group is going to start to expand now. Obviously, we've covered a lot of that news over the course of the last couple days, but Manny still does it incredibly well. So make sure to go over and check out his video and sort of weigh in on, on the different options you think he should put on his brand new 
Ford GT coming. All right, guys, our main, main headline story of the day, and yet another step in the hypercar saga that seems to have taken all of automotive YouTube, or at least the folks that we cover on a day-to-day -day basis, by storm. And sort of unsurprisingly, if you've been following some of our, our previous headline stories over the last two or three days, a lot of these new hypercar announcements seem to be connected in some way, shape, or form to what Stradman's new Bugatti Veyron is sort of on Instagram and on YouTube. And today's new Bugatti announcement actually centers around one of his latest posts on Instagram, which by the way is a fantastic post unto itself that gives a little bit more information on some of the next vlogs we're probably gonna be seeing on his channel. Him just sitting in front of the beautiful Bugatti Veyron he just purchased, got the mountains in the background, the sunset too, and, and the quote he has here is really great. A few things I've discovered, no car should ever be built to have this much power, LOL, to the undercover police officer who lit me up last night when I was doing a pull next to you. Thank you for flipping off your lights and continuing on with your evening. Uh, number three, I need to put my attorney on retainer. Four, Utah has the best views on views. Five, I never wear a purple Strad merch hat and shirt combo together, but somehow I accidentally did. Hashtag Bugatti, hashtag Veyron. Now it's a great post by itself, but if you look a little bit deeper in the comment section, you'll see uh, actually one affirming our story from yesterday about uh, Tavares potentially getting a Bugatti Veyron as well. His comment below just saying we should race. A lot of people tagging me of that, a lot of people sending me that. That's sort of a mini affirmation of the story that we did yesterday where he said in the YouTube video of the delivery, you know, welcome to the club, dot, 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 wait. I gotta feel like there's no way Tavares is gonna drop this many clues over the course of a couple of weeks about a potentially getting a Bugatti Veyron or some sort of Bugatti for himself without there being some iota of truth to it. It's just not really the sort of thing that Tavares tends to do. But that's not the big comment that we're talking about today. As you guys know, a couple days ago, we covered Savage Garage's Instagram post that simply showed the Bugatti logo in the background with just the word Trinity underneath. Now, we really didn't know what that meant. We thought maybe a Bugatti was coming to the channel, but we really had no idea which Bugatti that he would or, or could be getting until today when we looked at the comments underneath this particular Stradman Instagram post. We see not one, but two separate interesting hypercar comments from Savage Garage. The first one saying, congrats, brother. Amazing car. Let's twin soon. Now, if that doesn't mean he's got a Bugatti coming, I, I really don't know what is. As you guys know, Savage Garage, Randy does not mess around and really does not tease things for too long unless something really big is on the way. The twin comment, uh, I would have to imagine, uh, lends credibility to the idea that he's going to be getting some sort of Bugatti and maybe even further that he's going to be getting a Veyron based on the twin comment, having two Veyron side by side. And then here's another crazy comment, guys. Our Royalty Exotics, as you guys know, uh, Houston has had a number of different Bugatti Veyrons over the course of the last couple years. He left a comment on this post saying, woke up in a new Bugatti, and then Savage Garage very sneakily commented or replied to that below saying, at Royalty Exotic Cars, woke up in a used Bugatti grin. Now, based on everything else that we've seen, uh, the Bugatti logo, does this lend more credibility to the idea that Randy's gonna be buying a Bugatti Veyron for his channel? He's already got the Pagani Huayra, he's already got the Koenigsegg CCX, and might I remind you, uh, Houston's red Bugatti Veyron is currently for sale at Iluso. Could Randy be going after that car? We have no idea sort of the, the real specifics here because we haven't got anything more than we've already told you guys today, but it's extraordinarily intriguing, and I feel like Randy's the kind of guy that would leave fun clues around for us to be able to sort of, you know, eat up afterward and speculate on. Anyway, in the comments below, let me know what you guys think. Could we possibly see a Savage Garage Bugatti right next to Stradman's? Wouldn't that be an incredible collaboration? Let me know in the comments below what you think about that. I'm super pumped, guys. We have so much to go over over the next couple days. Moving right along, guys. Uh, Daily Driven Exotics, a uh, great new video about how their Lamborghini Huracan, like we reported yesterday, sold in one hour the famed tire slayer going for full price to a brand new owner. We're gonna have some new stuff on that very, very soon. We just wanna make sure we can confirm everything before we bring you the new owner stuff. Additionally, their video today uh, actually also confirmed some other stuff that they were indeed considering the green Huracan Evo that is present at August Luxury Motor Cars. Later in the video, uh, they basically ask whether or not the new Huracan Evo needs to be rear wheel drive. Now we used to think that that was gonna be a big requirement, uh, but after driving it and sort of experiencing how great that car is and sort of seeing what it could be, it sounds like they haven't really made up their mind 
on about rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. So let me know in the comments below guys, is the Evo or the Performante more suited to what their needs are or do we need a rear wheel drive car for the future of the DDE tire slayer? Let me know in the comments below guys. Next up guys, F Spot. If you wanna sit back, relax and watch uh, his $12,000 exhaust get sort of spanked in a way by three other insane Lamborghinis. I'm joking a little bit, of course. Uh, go watch his latest video, fantastic car spotting. Really F Spot at his absolute finest. One of my favorite car spotting channels across all of YouTube. Really one of the pioneers in that area. Go check out his latest video. It's everything that his channel can be and more. Next up guys, drag times uh, with a tuned McLaren 675 LT versus a stock Ferrari Pista. I gotta tell you, one of the more interesting races between uh, sort of crazy exotics that I've seen in some time. One of the reasons why I follow drag times so closely is because it's one of the rare places that we can see just incredible matchups day in and day out, like the one that we just witnessed. Go check it out, guys. I think the results are extraordinarily intriguing and fascinating to watch. Uh, if you're a fanboy of either McLaren or Ferrari, you're gonna love this video. Check it out. Amelia Hartford, guys, next on Instagram, uh, teasing the 1200 horsepower Texas Speed LT2 engine is back and we'll be singing God Bless America when we're done with her. New series goes live tomorrow on her channel. Go check it out, guys. This is a huge moment for her after sort of the, the C8 engine blew up a little bit. Uh, coming back with 1,200 horsepower. Good Lord, that's gonna be insane. Amelia Hartford fresh off of buying her brand new house, starting to do her dream garage. A lot of good things coming for her very soon. Next up, guys, Car Wow. If you watched our episode yesterday, you'll already know why we're talking about Car Wow. They just did something that no other automotive channel in the history of YouTube has ever done. 75 million YouTube views in one month's time. An incredible accomplishment. We talked about it yesterday, uh, but you gotta go watch one of their latest videos and you'll sort of see why they're becoming so big. SVJ versus 911 Turbo S versus Ferrari F12 in an incredible drag race. Go watch it. Don't do anything else until you've seen that. It's incredible and the reason why Car Wow is exploding on YouTube right now. And folks, that's all I've got for you guys today. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible Hypercar Week. Uh, we're gonna have crazy content for many weeks to come. Uh, I can't remember the last time I had a day off. It's been a number of days, but you don't take breaks during crazy times like this. It's time to put the pedal to the metal and just sort of have fun and enjoy the ride. So thanks a lot for watching our videos over the course of the last week, guys. We got much, much more to come. Have a fantastic day, guys. Make sure to stay safe, sane, and healthy. I'm out of breath. Bye.